Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect with IBM's Maximo Asset Management product. And in today's video recording, I want to highlight Maximo X Work Centers. We'll start in this video with an overview of object structures and queries. And then in subsequent videos, I'll have demonstrations of the importance of our object structures and queries in Maximo X. So to recap at a very top level, Maximo Work Centers were introduced in 2016. They supplement Maximo Classic by enabling role specific applications in a responsive display. Enabling the responsive display is the change in architecture for Maximo X. As you can see on the far left hand side, when a user accesses a Maximo X Work Center, the way they get the information displayed to them is very, very different from Maximo Classic. And key to the Maximo X architecture is the role of REST APIs and the object structures themselves. An object structure represents a hierarchy of Maximo database tables or objects joined together via a Max relationship. And a Max relationship is simply a SQL WHERE clause. With Maximo X, these object structures, again, are utilized by the REST APIs to access both the MABOs and the Maximo data themselves. So you can see the importance of object structures in our Maximo X architecture. Well, how does this all come together and how can you find out details about the object structures that are used? Well, to understand Maximo object structures, go back to Maximo Classic, and it's available from the integration object structure application. And to find these object structures themselves, on the list tab, simply put in MX API, that's what we're using as an identifier, and also that they are, and also that they'll be consumed by integration. Now you'll see a number of APIs here. Some are used by Maximo X and some are used by Maximo Classic. And I'll get into more of the details of that as we go through the slide deck today. The other thing I do wanna highlight is that object structures are utilized in many ways throughout Maximo. We use them for integration, migration manager, and reporting. And some of those report object structures are also utilized within Maximo X. And you can see an example here. Again, if I go to the integration object structure application, select consume by reporting, you'll see a list of report object structures. And these same report object structures are available within the dataset designer. The Dataset Designer is a wonderful application available from our Business Analyst Work Center, and it enables a user to create content datasets, selecting fields from multiple database objects, applying filters, and then having the output display in XLS format. Think of it almost like a result set today. But what we're gonna really focus on today is the opposite. We're gonna focus on the integration object structures. Well, key to those integration object structures is not only the content themselves, how we join the tables together, but the queries that are now available for our object structures. There's a new dialogue available in Maximo 7.6, again, available from the object structure application, and you can pull up the queries associated with each of these object structures. And you can see here, there's a number of them related to this specific object structure, which is MX API Woe Detail. So this is a work order object structure, and I can see queries here associated for approving and closing and monitoring work, et cetera. Well, why is this important? Well, it's important for a few key reasons. First, if I open up any one of those individual records amongst the queries, I can see the SQL WHERE clause associated with the individual query, the query clause name, if it's public, et cetera. And where this becomes so, so exciting is that individual query is actually used to drive the content of the various work centers, containers, actions, et cetera. Let me try to paint a better picture of this. Imagine that I'm working with a supervisor work center in Maximo X. 
When this work center initially displays, you'll see four columns or what we call containers. And each one of these containers has a name up top identifying what the container is doing. The first container, the supervisor can approve work. Secondly, he can assign work, monitor work, and close work. But what is rendering the content? What records are causing the content to display? Well, that record that is actually displayed is driven by the associated query in the object structure. So again, if we look at the object structure associated with work supervision, we bring up its query definition in the object structure application, we can see that individual where clause, SQL where clause that is driving the content of that container. Here's a few more examples of this. This is the Maximo Technician. It's a different work center and you can utilize here, again, he's gonna utilize that same object structure, MX API Wo Detail. And as you navigate through the query definition, you can see the two queries that are associated or utilized by our maintenance technician, again, to render the content that that technician can then perform actions on. Here's a few other examples. In this case, we're looking at the business analyst. This is a business analyst work center. She has a number of different containers and content in her work center. And one of the containers, she's actually seeing some charts or some graphs, but now we're not gonna render this from the same object structure that we utilized for our technician and supervisor. In this case, she's got a different object structure name, MXAPI Woe whoa, excuse me, and you can see the different queries associated with the different charts. So exciting, right? So now we're understanding what is driving the data that is being displayed in our work centers. Here's another example. Our business analyst also is very focused on data quality. So she has a couple of charts or a couple of metrics that are trying to understand how complete the data is within their Maximo environment. So she's looking at assets with no classifications and failure codes. Again, here is the object structure associated with those two charts and the queries that are driving the data. So the queries drive the data that displays within the content. So you might be wondering, how can I find out about these? Like, how do I know what object structure is associated with each work center, which queries are used? Well, we have a number of wiki pages that we're continuing to build out. And if you go to these wiki pages, you will see a lot of wonderful information. Let me see if I can scroll over there real quickly. And here we're starting to build out the content so that you can understand the object structure that is associated with each work center and then for each object structure that's available, what is the query and the associated container? And you're gonna see how this all comes together in the next video recording, when we'll actually go into the object structure query definition, modify the container, or excuse me, modify the query slightly, so your results of your work center can be more applicable to your individual environment. So thank you very much for your time as we've talking about the importance of object structures and queries in the Maximo X environments.